Hey, good day YouTube, how are you? My name is attorney Charles Zavala from Zavala Texas Law here in beautiful Houston, Texas. We do immigration, we do criminal, we do small business claims. Um, today I got a video regarding immigration. Um, so, it's a, it, the reason why I wanna talk about this is because a lot of people kind of have it confused. With immigration, there's something called a work permit, right? It says, it's written EAD, it stands for Employment Authorization Document, right? EAD work permit, kind of the same thing, right? So one of the perks of having a work permit or being an immigrant here in the USA is if you are allowed to work, um, depending on which type of visa you're on, right? Because there's a lot of people who can come to the USA as tourists, as uh, students, as uh, working for certain type of companies. So it's not like if you come here to the USA, you're allowed to automatically work. No, 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 that could actually be a big problem. One of the questions they ask you is, have you worked here without authorization? So what I wanna explain is, what is a work permit or a um, EAD and how does it affect someone, right? So let's just start with the base name of it. The, the, the employment authorization document, it essentially authorizes the person who's on the card, usually being the immigrant, to be able to work. Just like a work permit, it permits you to work. That's it. It's not legal status, okay? A lot of times I have clients who will call me and say, oh yeah, you know, my boyfriend or so-and-so has their work permit, you know, so they're good. And I'm like, well, that's not entirely true because a work permit is solely that. It's a permission to work. It's the USA government saying, listen, this person on this card has our approval. We have authorized them to work. So where this normally creates confusion is if people think they have the work permit, they think that they have some sort of legal status, which isn't entirely true. So the, the way that works is this. If you are here... There's certain type of visas, like if you're a tourist or you're a student, you're not allowed, sorry, if you're a tourist, you're not allowed to work. You will not get a travel permit, okay? If you're a student, your working is very limited. You have to work this stuff on campus. You can only work a certain amount of hours per day. So what happens is when you come here to the USA and if you are here with a valid visa that allows you to work, you apply for a work permit. It's not associated with your visa or your legal status here. You apply for it. And in that application, one of the questions they're gonna ask you is, how the heck are you eligible for this, right? Show us how you're eligible. And I don't have a, uh, a work permit card here. And if I did with one of my clients, I couldn't show it anyways. But on that card, it's gonna say your name, it's gonna say all your information, but it'll also say a category. And it'll say like a letter and then some numbers. That's the category on which your work a permit was approved, right? So let's say hypothetically, I am here in the country and I have DACA, Dreamers Act, right? Or so I would then apply for a work permit and under there I would say that, hey, I'm eligible for a work permit because I have DACA. So then they would issue me a work permit under DACA. If I was here on temporary protected status, um, I would then apply for a work permit under the temporary protected status category, right? So it's not like a one work permit fits all. No, it's gonna be based off of what your immigration status is here. That being said, if you have DACA or you have a work permit, you have to keep on renewing it because if you don't renew it, it's out. And if you lose that status that you had, whether it was DACA, TPS, anything you had that helped you get your work permit, you will no longer be able to renew your work permit because it's no, no longer valid, right? So that's the biggest confusion. So a lot of times people will think, oh, I have my work permit, therefore I am I have legal status here. No, that's not entirely true. I have a lot of clients who are right now in deportation proceedings that because they applied for what's called asylum, they are eligible to apply for a work permit. But that doesn't mean they're here legally and that they've won their case. No, no, no. It's exactly that, a permission to work. So if you are interested in obtaining a work permit, first you have to find out if you're eligible, right? You have to find out what category you're eligible for. And if you are here um, with no status, you know, it makes it a little difficult because the government's not going to give you a benefit if you are here undocumented unless you qualify for one of the exceptions, right? So that's kind of the gist of today's video, what I wanted to talk about. The work permit is not legal status. It is solely a permission to work here based on a status you are currently have. 
So you will have to renew it and you will have to keep that status you had or else when you try to renew your work permit, they're gonna say, listen, you're not eligible anymore. You no longer have that status, okay? So that's what today's video is about. So if you are interested in a work permit, have a work permit and need to renew it, you wanna change status, any of that stuff, feel free to give us a call, 832-819-3723, or you can schedule here um, through YouTube. The phone consultation will be with me personally, Charles Zavala. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful day, bye-bye.